Hey, I'm Be Cruz. So I'm starting off on freshly washed hair. I'm going to use this Camilla Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. This was my first time using this. And I have to say, I really like it. It definitely moisturized my hair. It kind of feels weird going on the hair. But I actually really did like it. So I definitely will be using it again. Um, I did let my hair kind of air dry before I decided to start styling it. So for my twist, I'm going to be using some olive oil and I'm also going to use the Camilla Rose Ella Whip Butter Gel. And I kind of like mix those two together. And this is just what it looks like. So basically what I do is I go in with the Camilla Rose gel well it's not really like a gel you guys it's really like a butter honestly so i put that on my hair first and then i go over it with olive oil and i find that that helps with like me not getting any flakes or anything like that if i get a little bit too heavy handed with the product but i really really like this product you guys it moisturized my hair so well it is definitely one of my favorites it does give really good definition but i'm actually not trying to get definition a lot of times after i wash my hair i like to go through my hair section by section and twist my hair just to detangle my hair really well to feel if i have like any single strand knots so i'm not really twisting my hair for the definition purposes i just like to do this you know once i wash my hair now sometimes i am trying to get definition but in this case, I just was twisting up my hair after washing it, you know, just going through my hair really thoroughly and making sure, you know, it's in good condition, you know, making sure I moisturize every strand. So once I'm all done twisting my hair, I'm going to go in with the Camilla Rose Coca Nibs and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum. I've been using this for like a few months on and off and I actually really, really like it. It's really lightweight and a little of it goes a long way and it smells really, really good, you guys. So I have been using this with like my black Jamaican castor oil. So I've been going back and forth between these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wrap around scarf. You can wear your bonnet if you would like, but I prefer this when I have twists. It kind of just keeps them all in place and they're just not like moving all over. So it is the next day. I've already taken my twists out because I like to take them out before I get in the shower so that my hair looks really, really full. That's just like my little tip when you have fine hair. Take your twist out and then let the steam hit your hair in the shower. So as you guys can see, I'm parting out that front section of my hair. Literally just going to do a really quick style. As you guys can see, I just parted my hair on a slant, but you can part your hair however you like. I'm going to use a little bit of Eco Styler Gel. You do not have to use gel. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush that through, and I will be putting a flat twist there. Just a really cute, you know, quick, easy style after you wash your hair and you just need something, you know, quick to do to your hair so you can run out the door, go to work, run your errands, or whatever it may be that you have to do and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other section of hair y'all the reason why my edges are already laid because I actually have to film this part over because yeah my camera wasn't recording and I thought it was so <laughs> that's why they're already laid you guys I usually lay them after I do the twist but like I said I had to redo this part but no worries so now once I'm done with the twist I'm gonna take a clothes bobby pin and pin the ends of the twist going back into my fro and I'm just gonna kind of fluff out my fro with my hands and I'm gonna go ahead and now lay down my edges this is optional you can just brush them all the way back if you like I'm gonna take a bandana you can find these at Walmart your local beauty supply store Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to fold that and tie that behind the twist go ahead and take my pick and fluff out my fro and this is the final look of the style super cute an easy style you can do after wash day i love it it is definitely one of my go-to's you guys and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little hair tutorial i hope it was helpful thanks for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye